uh, I remember all the wave of migrants arriving in the 90s, uh, all the views of these boats full of people uh, trying to cross the, uh, the sea and reach Italy in, uh, in the hope of having a better, a better life. I was very curious to see Albania. Our trip to South Albania was organized around the three uh, UNESCO heritage sites of Berati, uh, Butrinto and Giro Castro. And obviously we took the advantage of uh, being along the coast and uh, have a pristine water and, uh, and nice beaches. We arrived in Valona and then we rented a car and then we started driving around. It was very frustrating driving around because the road were not in a nice condition and it took much longer than expected to move to a place from to, to a place to another one. I'm gonna describe you Albania with four colors. Number one, blue. The sea is really amazing. The road from Vlore to Sarande is one of the most am amazing that we ever seen. And this is due to the fact that Albania essentially is like high mountains going down to the sea. We are here between Valona and Sarande and behind me you can see the Albanian Riviera. Number two, the green. The forest and the countryside still it's something you should visit. We are here in Butrint, which is a uh, fundamental part of the history of the Mediterranean. In fact, here you can find uh, several remains which belong to a number of civilizations. Uh, the Venetian one, the Ottoman one, the Roman and the Hellenistic one. The legend says that the city was founded in the 7th century before Christ and it was founded by the people escaping the city of Troy after its fall. Number three, white. The white of the stones of the Byzantine and Ottoman towns. Berati is one of the most beautiful and oldest town of all Albania and inside these walls you can visit both mosques and medieval churches. A, a little bit of history of Albania. Essentially, Albania has always struggled to defend themselves against uh, bigger uh, foreign inv invaders. The entire history from Roman times to Byzantine to the medieval age to the Ottomans to, more, to recent mo and modern history is a history of resistance. The national hero is Skanderberg, uh, who in the 13th century group all the Albanian clans against the Turks, against the Ottomans, and essentially freed up the country for almost 40 years. Skanderberg and the Albanians essentially stopped the uh, expansion of the, of the Ottoman Empire into South Italy. Today we are now in Giro Castro, a small Ottoman town um, which is UNESCO heritage. What I really liked was the Giro Castro castle that was massive and it was really well kept as well. This plane is a, an American spy plane that was captured during the, the 60s. It was probably a spy plane and, and it was, it was uh, uh, cruising over Albania. And now it is shown here. We are in the Giro Castro Castle, where there are several kind of military uh, monuments, like the artillery of Ali Pasha and the artillery that has been captured from the Italian and the German uh, army during the Second World War. 
Albania is famous for these bunkers. There are thousands scattered everywhere in the cities, in the countryside, on the sea. Um, they've been built between the 16 and the 80s when Albania isolated themselves from the Soviet bloc. Uh, they were built to organize the guerrilla in case of an invasion, probably by the Soviet Union or something like that. Uh, it, it became like a sort of national paranoia. Uh, now they are very difficult to, to remove or to be destroyed and they are like a, a kind of a, a witness of a recent past. And number four, unfortunately, is grey. So we stayed in Saranda, a city in the south of the, uh, on the coast, city of uh, real estate of Buzik. It's an incredible. They build everywhere. They build a lot of uh, tall buildings, concrete, one after the other after the other. So it's like a terrible place. But logistically, it's very convenient. It's on the beach. Saranda is a little bit a messy place, so very crowded, pretty old place, so just one time it's enough to, to be here. And, uh, even though we didn't spend here an awful lot of time, uh, it gave us enough time to get a glimpse of what the life here is. And 25 years after the communist regime uh, collapsed, uh, it was interesting to see how they're doing. Albania is a land of contrast because you go from like the beautiful kind of like seaside, like the sea is amazing, the water is just like unbelievable, to the countryside where it's actually a bit like run down. Uh, even though we didn't spend here an awful lot of time, uh, it gave us enough time to get a glimpse of what the life here is, to get to know a little bit how people live here, uh, what they do, and, and also to see the beauty of this country. It's full of beautiful places here. It's obvious that they still have an awful lot of problems, but at the same time, the fact that tourism here is, uh, is active and is, uh, is uh, gaining traction uh, is going to, to help them a lot, uh, both because they're going to get in touch with other cultures and at the same time also because they're getting some, uh, some money and some investments. Yeah. Hey.